Hi friends, it's Quinby, the Grateful Queen here on YouTube. I'm so excited right now because I am sitting outside a brand new thrift store. Well, it's new to me. I doubt it's a new store, but I have been so excited since I started this video series, you guys, called Bye Bye Goodwill. I am doing a series of videos where I am trying to find other thrift stores that are not Goodwill. And the reason why is just because Goodwill prices have gotten crazy high in my area and they have zero kinds of sales. And as a part-time reseller, I sell on eBay and Poshmark and I'm trying to keep my cost of goods down and there's no way I can do that sourcing at Goodwill anymore. There just isn't. I cannot afford to pay $9.99 for a dress, $9.99 for jeans, $7.99 for tops, and then try and flip them for a profit online. So... I have a love-hate thing with Goodwill. Trust me, I've been a Goodwill shopper, a thrifter my entire life, even before I was reselling, and I love Goodwill. However, it's prohibitive now because of their prices. Some of you, your prices are still reasonable, but here in Northern California, where I live, they are not. So I started making these videos where I am researching other thrift stores in my area, and I'm taking you along inside the thrift store to show you what some other stores can look like, I've been enjoying this series so much. It sounds like you are too. Please definitely leave me a comment. Let me know where you are in the country, what your thrift stores are like, what the prices are, and do you have other stores? Because to be honest, Goodwill's very convenient for me. It's by my house. There's three of them. They're reliable. You know, it's Goodwill. I've had to do some research where I'm Googling other church thrift stores and charity shops and I um, am finding stuff that is great at much lower prices. So I want to maybe inspire you and encourage you to do the same thing. So come along. I'm going to take you into the store. I don't know how big this one is, so I don't know how much filming I can do. But I always show some footage. And then I'll do a haul either in the store or afterwards to show you what I got. Okay, great start. I couldn't even figure out where the door was of the building, but this looks pretty good. Here we go. Thursday, 50% off. Open stock dishes, DVD. For the month of January, 50% off. Yellow tag, $2 purple clad clothing. So let's get the lay of the land here. Those are the yellow tagged items, which are 50% off, some women's clothes and shoes, and then a pajama section and some skirts. Everything's individually tagged, I'm noticing, as opposed to having like a set price, like top $6. Here's this little section of hard goods in the front, and here's a ceramic snail planter. Pretty cute for $6.50. A little yellow pitcher for $3.50. And I want to look at the belts. I like selling belts. I was really drawn to this boho genuine leather belt for $3.50. So I did end up purchasing that. I like selling belts that are genuine leather. This one, I would have picked up this tooled leather belt, but it was really small. So I try and stay away from really small sizes with belts. I love this wide belt with the bronze colored buckle for $4, but it wasn't genuine leather, so I passed on that. And in the back of the store, look, they have a lot more hard goods here. I guess this is where all the dishes and things are. So let's take a peek around and let me know if you see something that I might have missed. I like learning all the time. I'm very interested in selling more hard goods, more vintage home decor and things. Lots of little knickknacks here. I'll let you guys look. Cute little purse knickknack for $2. This is Ikea for $3.25. It kind of looked like a mid-century modern vase, those lines to me. And I always love the art pottery. Cute little piece for $1.25. And a little kitschy light cover for $2.50 with a bear on it. Section of this. What's this? Some macrame wall hanging. 
That's cool. So boho. I don't see a price on it. God, it's so heavy. This is so heavy. Let's see if I can find a price. Let's check out these tops. $5. I like the style on this, and the logo tells me it's Fabletics. Five bucks is a little high for Fabletics. I usually get $18 or so for a Fabletics piece. Looks like most tops here are about $5. I like this eyelet top. That happens to be Lucky Brand. $5 on that one. These are some things I would have got, like J. Jill, but $6. So, you know, a little less than Goodwill, but not too much lower. This is one of my favorite athletic brands to sell, Athleta. I think I've sold this sweater before, and that one was $7. And what do we have here? Oh, my goodness. Yes. $2 for these little ceramic art pottery bowls. And it looks like there is a set. So I am putting these in my car as fast as I can. So I did buy these pottery bowls. They were only $2 each and there were five of them. They're ceramic art pottery. They have a signature on, but I think it's just maybe a student piece or something. They're a good weight. They're not super thin and lightweight, but they're not too heavy. And I think they're the perfect size for, you know, some yogurt with granola on top or an ice cream bowl or if you're doing a little side salad. I love that there were five of them. Now, I could resell these because I only have $10 invested in them, and people love a whole set like this, but I think I'm going to keep them. I have a pottery collection. I absolutely love artisan pottery, and I think this was a fantastic deal for $2 a piece. Okay, I'm just out of the pick of the litter thrift, which supports... Um, felines of Sonoma County so that's it was so fun you guys just to be in a different store um prices were a little higher on clothes as you probably noticed from the footage that I'm showing you of the store so I did not get a lot but I learned they have like crazy sales so that's part of this whole thing is learning so every Tuesday they open at 10 and it's 50% off clothing and shoes so my guess is that's probably why they have their tops marked at like six bucks or seven bucks because people can show up on Tuesday and get them for 350 so I'm making a note that this is an awesome place if you want clothing and shoes 50% off and then in terms of me selling hard goods they have some other sales so living and learning this is so smart I'm definitely gonna come back on a Tuesday there's another church thrift store uh, down the road it's one of my absolute favorites I have taken you there before but no matter we might just swing in there real quick before I have to pick up my son from school so let's go check that one out and see what we can find this place has one of my favorite like art sections what is this oh it's $6.99 Made in China, but it's like a heavy metal tray with birds. Oh, but it's like, oh, that would be such a good decorating play piece. We have some hardwood birds, but what is this? Three dollars. It's made of metal. It says something on it. Memory of Deborah would love mom. Love it. Love it. I've been selling a little bit more hard goods, so I'm going to take a look. Oh, here's a little candy dish. I got a Murano glass dish here last time for $4.99. Gotta get it listed. Ooh, what's this? bread box. It's too small for a bread box. Oh, it's a little desk organizer. $7.99. This is kind of vintage. Three bucks. Oh, four bucks. What does that say? 14. 
That'll be four. Ooh, this is um iron, cast iron. Three dollars. Heavy, heavy trivet. The mug section. Pottery barn, that's like old pottery barn though. Like a vintage pottery barn. See anything good? Oh, interesting. This is like coral. Ouch. Two dollars. Huh. Hmm. What is this for? Is that like to put your tea bag? That's clever. I don't see anything. Huh. There's my platter from my last video. It was half off last week. It's made in Italy. It's marked at 25 bucks. It was half off last week and I didn't buy it because it got chipped on the bottom. The first time I came here, it was not chipped, so I find that very sad. I just love a good fish plate, seven dollars. It's big, made in Japan, holding it upside down, but you get the point, it's a fish. What do we think of this Talavera, it looks like, for $5.99. Ooh, look at the back. Talavera Castillo. Talavera Castillo made in Mexico. Let me put this down and check condition and, and uh, see what we think. That's a good price. Let's have a look-see through the tops here. J. Jill, Love Linen. This is almost always a yes for me, but not in an extra small. Same with this, a J. Jill Chambray shirt. Four bucks, I would pick those up if they were a medium large or more, but not an extra small. And I'm very happy with this find. This is a true designer piece. This is Max Mara, and it's an XXL wrap top. What a score. And this is one of my absolute favorite brands. It's Sundance Catalog. It's quite expensive. And look at the heavy embroidery on this black chiffon-like layered tank top. I'm trying to decide about these. These are Ralph Lauren, black label. I believe they're women's size small. They have the um, embroidery there. It's a two-piece set. It's in really good shape, but comps are just all over. Anywhere from 20 to 50. So why don't I find out at the register how much pajamas cost? Because I don't know. And maybe if they're like $5 or so. I'm in the men's department now, which I really don't love, honestly. I wish I did. There's a lot of money to be made in men's, I think. I had a moment with this dress thinking it was Hula Johnson, but it's Hula Popkin, not the same thing. This is a popular, I think, like plus size. Cute, but not what I thought it was. I'm in the dresses, which are normally $5.25. This is a brand I would normally definitely pick up. Garnet Hill. Um, but 10 bucks. It's a size 8. Cute baby doll style. But I'm not going to pay 10. It was half off, yes. This store has the best shoe session, I think. But it's they're priced up. They're not like thrift store prices. Let's see, Rothy's. Rothy's, are you Rothy's? Woven fabric shoes? No, Old Navy has totally 
duped the Rothies. I found one pair of Rothies. It was at this store actually for $9.99. They sold for $9.99 within a week. Definite Bolo. This is a good shoe brand too, but these aren't in good shape. I found really good shoes here, but BP, that's just Nordstrom House brand. Let's see what they want for a pair of Keens. Oh, those are in rough shape. Seven bucks. That's reasonable. I'm so over cleaning shoes. I have no interest in buying shoes that need to be cleaned. Will I do it? Probably. And then kick myself later. These look nice. This might be vintage. I don't know who's making these. They don't... Oh, there's something there, but I can't read it. They're gorgeous. Tall. Leather boots. Oh, let's see. Is there a name in there? Oh, they're fries. These are vintage fries, you guys. I haven't seen a tag that old in a long time. What do they want for those? Let's see if the price is on the other one. 30 bucks. If you were buying those for yourself and they were your size, that would be amazing. I mean, I could probably still make a profit with 30 bucks. They're a size five. So no, no for me, just because they're 30 and they're a size five, which is way too small. This is really good. This is a brand I haven't found in a while. It's Vanessa Virginia, which is sold at Anthropology. This is a US 10. It's all pleated peasant top. And I guess those are elephants. Such good bohemian peasant top. And that one's $4. I showed you the Sundance one. I'm in the couches because the music is like so loud. Uh, it's good music. It's just very loud. I showed you, I think, the Max Math. Max Mara. This is a total designer piece. It's funny, they have like Target marked up, but not Max Mara. Now, this I have to decide about. What do you guys think? This is soft surroundings and it's a large. So, good mature women's brand. Has this button bag, so it makes me think new without tags. But this style just doesn't seem like soft surroundings. So, I don't know what they're like, people that love this brand, what they would think. It's like a houndstooth print with golden metallic. That would be four bucks. I just don't know if people would, you know what I mean? That's not, just doesn't seem like their style. Oh, a J. Jill. I didn't show you this, I don't think. You guys know I'm going to pick up all J. Jill if it's good. And this is Pima. That's a higher cotton. It's usually made in Peru. This is the Pima Center Pleat Tunic in a medium, oversized tunic. I don't see any condition issues. I'm always looking like under the armpits and looking for stains. Is there a little stain on the front? Let me look. Is there? Oh no, it does look like there's this little something right there, isn't there? Bummer. To think about that, because that's such an easy $20, $25 flip. And I got this. I'm in the furniture section because it's so loud up front. This is packed. It's like an environmentally friendly brand. And it's a uh, large. And it's one of those built-in bra dresses. And it says 95% cotton. It's sort of like a midi dress. Reminds me of the athlete dresses with the built-in bra. In blue, it's got pockets. So that's pretty good, right? For $5.25. So I think I'll put these other things back. I am gonna get the J. Jill maxi dress because that's pretty easy. Okay, I also found this. It was just being put away. Pure Jill size 1X. Yes, yes, yes. It's kind of a long tunic with slits and it's a linen blend. So that is like a really good find. That'll probably sell for $40 and probably really fast. And I am going to take the Televera hand-painted dish. Um, comps are all over because there's just so many different styles of this. I don't know if this is like a platter or a baking dish, so I'll do a little bit of research. 
and six dollars is just such an amazing price on this and i don't see any chips or anything these are like in the paint because it's hand painted so i think that's gorgeous i'm gonna take that and then i'm probably gonna head out here it's probably time okay friends so that was a successful trip to the second church thrift store this one benefits recovery and prices are still way better than goodwill almost half price as long as it's not marked up now i'm not gonna lie this store is getting on trend with everybody else and marking things up so there are many items that now have little colored tags hanging that are marked up to like 10 bucks if it's new with tag maybe it's marked up to 20 so what's with this hair right here let's just deal with that i'm a curly hair girl and it's raining so that's never good anyhow I got a lot of clothes to resell at this place. Amazing brand, so I'm super happy. My total was $38 for all of that. It was $37 and change, and I rounded up to donate the rest. So $38, I mean, that one J. Jill size Wenox linen tunic, which is like gold in that brand. That's what everybody wants. Large size tunic, linen. Um, that'll pay for the whole haul. So it is worth it, in my opinion, to... Get outside your comfort zone, find stores that aren't Goodwill, that are going to be cheaper, little church thrift stores. I wonder what store is going to be next on my list. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research, a little more Googling, and find some other little charity shops for us to explore together. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, friends.